So last night we have this big snowstorm. About four inches of snow, heavy wet snow, breaks off like four big branches of my tree. So now I have this cleanup. I've got to either cut these things up or drag them in the woods. So I was thinking, hey, spring's coming up. Let's make a log cabin birdhouse out of these. Let's take the sticks, we'll cut them up into something smaller, we'll put them together, see if we can create, see if we can be creative and make a, a birdhouse. Come on, let's go see what kind of stock we got. We'll go cut the sticks up, see what we got, see what we can put together. Now that I gathered up a bunch of the uh, smaller sticks, I will grab them, take them inside, and uh, we'll trim them up and cut them shorter and get them ready to assemble. Now that we got the sticks inside, we want to trim them down to roughly uh, six inches and uh, 10 inches. This will give us the uh, uh, the long side of the log cabin and the short side. So I'm going to just start cutting these up and we will Some of the ends uh, naturally get cut nice and smooth and, and, is, and is very usable. So we can use this one, but for ones like this, what we want to do is we want to do the old fashioned trim up. Uh, just get ourselves in a little vice. really nice makes us look good aesthetically it'll look nice it'll look nice on the uh, the ends okay now we're ready to assemble we always want to pick some good solid ones for the bottom get them laid out uh, we need two strong ones at the side which we had already measured at six inches and what we'll do is we'll leave about a three-quarter hangover here uh, just to give us some depth and nope. we can nope. start building. Now we want to go across this way, across this way. I like it, I like it. Okay, Whoop. okay. I like it. Gives us a good foundation. Now we're going to take some glue. We're going to start it. Glue. Get our glue down. She don't care. I'm offered. Trust me. Uh, just for some added strength, I'm going to put a couple nails in. I'm just going to put in some little finish nails just so it can help hold this. Uh, it'll help hold it, help stabilize it. Okay, got a good frame built. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just keep building onto it. Just keep finding our sticks and adding more and more on. Okay, okay, now we have a nice, solid, um, good structure ready to go. Now we got to think about the roof. What we want to do is start angling this roof this way, so we now have to look for smaller pieces and slowly build it up. Okay, to start assembling the roof, I'm going to take some of the uh, smaller pieces that I have cut and I'm going to stack them so I can get a nice angle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to nail them in so that I can... Okay, I can live with that now. What I'm going to do is get my side pieces to start piling them on. Now I'm going to extend these out beyond the front just a little bit 
so to give you an overhang when it comes down to the roof so you'll have something like this and then I will take okay looking ahead for the roof I just have some uh, um, some old shingles some old siding shingles and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut them I'm gonna cut them at about six inches so then I'll be able to just put them on as roof shingles and this way we'll be able to make a nice 45 degree angle roof shingles and put it on to start my roof so let's start let's cut these up and make these even okay I decided to do I decided to take my shingles and I put the first layer on said I didn't like the look so I decided to start cutting two and three layers of shingles so I was ending up with layers like this and then trim this off and then I found this end piece to put on but that'll give you different looks different shingles you can vary it as much as you want you can go with two if you want you can go with three I decided to go with three um, it fit good I have it extended out and now all we're gonna need to do is drill our hole and the birds will be ready to go if you'll notice there's a lot of air holes in there that's okay that'll give the birds air in the in the uh, summer when it gets hot in there so now let's drill out the hole and we'll be ready to roll what I have is a wood bit and it's an inch and a half to make the inch and a half hole I'm gonna place it uh, pretty much center but I gotta be careful now I did place some nails in there so I wanted to make sure that I don't hit these so as I'm drilling these I just want to be careful There you have it. Pretty solid job. Uh, looks good. Now all we got to do is worry about the platform. Uh, we've got several choices. Things. Uh, next thing we want to do is your platform. How you're going to mount it. Um, this one I have on a uh, uh, really a two by eight, two by ten, and you can place it, and it's real easy. This one I've actually made uh, logs. If you want to keep with the theme of the sticks, uh, a log base. And then you can glue it, you put a board under it, and it makes it solid. But it'll give you different ideas. Um, I put a little chimney on that to give it. This one, if you want to make it look good, you can always put a stick in there to block it, help it out. And then if you want to add some decorations, you can always pop things like this. Take some moss, put it there. Take some moss, put it on the roof. Give you an idea. And then the next thing we want to do is let's go out in the yard and place them. When you're setting them in the yard, um, what you want to do is find an open area. Um, you want to extend it like four to, to eight feet. It seems to be the prime area to get uh, most of your nesting birds. What I did is I took a, uh, an electrical pipe. I pounded a four foot rebar into the ground, put the electric pipe right on top of it. Just got myself a screw in flange, screw it to a board underneath it's ready to go so it, it all depends how you want to set it um, you can set it if you hang it now you got to remember the roof comes off so if you're going to hang it you have to uh, secure the roof and then set it up let's go find a place to hang this one find a place in the yard to put it uh, I hope you enjoyed this video hope you learned something on the project it's nice to take an idea from those fallen broken branches that we had uh, we turned them into something very constructive very very nice hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching this is another backyard project didn't take long to get a taker watch what we got watch the footage we got uh, perfect timing early spring this is when the birds are nesting they love it we got a house rent
I know what some of you are thinking. You love the idea and you love the concept of the log cabin birdhouse, but you don't have the opportunity to get the materials. So I got an idea. Let's make our own material. Let's do a contemporary style log cabin birdhouse. Let me show you how to do it. Let's go to another video. It's contemporary log cabin birdhouses. It's a how-to. We'll build this one. We'll show you how to do it. Hey, let's go make some sawdust. Thanks for watching. Just another backyard project.